Koroko mbwaiwe Uri na mea wala masako Wala mwepo na lako chita Uri na mea wala Uri na mea wala Uri na mea wala Uri na mea wala Uri mbushi Uwe mwana wa mbwaiwe Usada kuwa kaba Wala mwepo na lako chita Wakuru mwono mwono kwa wabipa Uwe njaga la Hakari mbusa wako Ene na fiora mfumu Na fiora ndi mfumu ine Na fiora mwa wawanga Wala mwepo na lako chita yu Uwe kwa chita tina yu Uri mbushi wala mene wote dele dabada Ewa na kulekera ina wala mwona Simon mwewa ule mwona Ukapore kwa lakuchi Mbushi Hei So ule pole kwa mfumu Kwa mwana mjot No sense Wala mwepo na lako chita yu Wala mwepo na lako chita Solo mwa Simon mwewa Iwe Isuka testa ya kwa na nilwa kusara Afrika Iwe Simon mwewa li iwe Simon Wala pole kwa mfumu Wala papa ifumu ele wa Ele wa kwa teli wefumu ule I'm not a prophet to joke around with. You are, you are looking for connection from the president. Me, do you know how many years I've been with HH? Mm. Do you know what the president HH's life? Who are you? 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 So all those things he was talking about, Simon Mwewa, it was just a lie. It was a lie. Now let me explain to you guys how I got arrested. It's Abram Angel, and I keep telling you, and I will never stop telling you this, Any anybody that calls himself, they, they call themselves a man of God, but they use an alias. They use a name other than what they were born with. They use a name other than their government name. That is a red flag, and there's a reason they do that. Angel, Abram Angel is not his real name. Abram Angel is not his government name. Abram, the names Abram Angel, Abraham Angel, do not appear on any of his documents. His real name is Lloyd Mulenga, Waku Kopala. And he weaved his way through using his, you know, his looks and he doesn't really talk a good game because he can't speak English worth a damn. Okay, let's just be clear about that. You know, the guy just fumbles all over the place. It's, it's incredible. But then you see, this is the shroud of these so-called men of God. You know, and this is the reason why Jesus called us sheep, because sheep, sheep, not sheep, sheep are easily manipulated. A sheep won't care that you speak good English or that you have a good command of your language, whether you speak Bemba, Tonga, Lozi. A, sh a sheep, a Dwanzi sheep, will just simply listen to what you're saying. As long as you shroud it, as long as you cover it in the word of God or you use God, then there are people out there that it's like you hold them in a trance. The moment you say God, it's like they're in a trance and, and they lose control of their faculties. And these guys, these types of people, they recognize that weakness. They recognize the kink in the armor. You know, you know that phrase, kink in the armor? They recognize the blemish in the flesh. They see your weakness and they capitalize on it. So when they use these names, they know that if you Google them, the only thing that will pop up is what they have fed the computer based on this real, based on this alias, this fake name. But if you put in their real name, and if, if they've ever been caught in a crime or sent to prison or gone to trial, it'll pop up. They avoid that. So they use, they come up with these names. And these young so-called prophets, they're ever, especially these Facebook prophets, oh my goodness, those guys are dangerous. They come up with all uh, Bovi, Angel Bovi, uh, uh, Uber Angel, that's not even his real name, you know, uh, uh, Bushiri. Bushiri is, uh, Shepard Bushiri, that's not his real name. His real name is Chipiriro Gama. That's his government name that they never use their real names because they know for the reason that I've, that I've just told you. So here it is. Uh, this young man, a Zambian, who moved to the States, he... He has a small audience of Zambians that are very Dwanzi. And then he uses words, he uses phrases like forex trading, because he knows that Zambians don't really carry out any type of due diligence. Many Zambians, especially on Facebook, the internet, oh my goodness, the internet is an ocean of ignorant Zambians. The internet? Oh, Facebook? All he has to do is use these phrases, forex trading. What the hell does a so-called prophet know about forex trading? Forex trading is a highly mechanized financial discipline. It's not just for everybody. There are people that go to school for this sort of thing. There are people that have qualifications in, in forex trading. But because Abram Angels understands that in Zambia, because there's that element, element of ignorance and greed, laziness. Greed, ignorance, and laziness. So he can come up and say, I'm going to conduct, I'm going to do forex trading. You don't even know what it is. But because it came out of his mouth, he will say to you, uh, I'm going to fly to Zambia. 
I'm coming to Zambia and I'm going to meet my investors. Oh, well, Fifi, wake up, wake up. He didn't meet any investors. All he did was he announced on his Facebook page that he was coming to Zambia and he published some numbers, some MTN numbers, some Airtel numbers as well, and said that if you invest money in this scheme, you will get a, a 100% profit back. In some cases, he said 50%. Now, guys, <laughs> you must understand, anyone that tells you that you can make lots of money in a very short period of time and your benefits, you can garner, you know the word garner? You can reap 50, 100% on your investment, on your initial investment, as soon as you hear those words, run. It's a con. It's a game. It's a, it's a, it's, they're flugazies, these guys. They're just trying to fleece you of your money. And because they know you're greedy, you're lazy, and you're ignorant, many of you fall into that trap. And then, and then what he does is that he first hoodwinks you by, by starting with small amounts. He'll say to you, if you send me a thousand kwacha, I'm going to give you, in two days, I'm going to give you back 1,500 kwacha. And you send it to him. In two days, he sends it back to you, 1,500. The moment you receive that, you think, wow, this works. As soon as you say the phrase, this works, he hits you up again and says, hey, listen, not only have I given you back 50% on your initial investment, there's a big deal coming. I tell you what, there's a gravy train coming. And when this train comes, and if you miss it, you will miss the ride. If you invest a certain amount of money, I will give you back 100% on your initial investment. So if you give me 15,000, I'll give you back 30,000. If you give me 100,000, I'll give you back 200,000. And because you're greedy, lazy, and ignorant, what do you do? What's the number? And you send it. The whole time, he's running a pyramid scheme, Ponzi scheme. He's borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. He's borrowing from Thomas to pay Bartholomew. It's, 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 a, it's a scheme. And, and this is what this boy was doing. And now, let's, let's, let's ask, when he came here, he claimed on his page that I went to the bank, I withdrew a million kwacha obu fee. Lies. He didn't withdraw a million. It was less than that. It was about 250, almost 300,000 kwacha. How do you know this, Mayor? Well, one of his insiders, a South African guy by the name of Solomon, who saw what he was doing and he realized, wait a minute, I'm part of a scam. This is all a scam. So he divulged all of this information and said he actually didn't withdraw a million kwacha. It was more like 300,000 kwacha. And what Abram Angel is waiting for He's waiting for money from a, a certain Zambia National Service female officer who was going to send him 300,000 kwacha because he promised her that she would get back 600,000. Do you see the deception? This is the reason why, this is the reason Jesus said, beware of false prophets because they will deceive even the very elect. That means, it's not enough to just be educated. It's not enough to be enlightened. It's not enough to be part of the echelons, the higher echelons of society. It's not enough. As long as you are hoodwinked, as long as you're dwanzi, these guys hook you. And that's what he was waiting for. He was waiting for a big payoff from this woman, and then he was going to run. He was going to uh, run off. Now, here's the thing. Whenever he would post these numbers and people would donate, he always had a female, uh, two people, young girl, young boy, that would answer the phone calls, and then that, they would give you the numbers that you send the money to. When they collect a certain amount, a certain amount they deactivate those numbers. They just turn them off. When you go back after a week and you try that number again, do, 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 nothing, you can't get through. By this time, he's, in, he, he's created a different, he's gone to MTN, Airtel, created a, a completely different number in conjunction with those companies. And then he posts them. And he says, oh, call, call me on this number. And then you, because you're so dwanzy, you phone and you send. So, so when we published what he was doing, there were lots of people that were upset with him. They said, hey, man, listen, we gave you money. Um, we want our money back. They followed him at ShopRite. He was apprehended by the police, not by Kadas. Now, this is what I found interesting about this Abram Angels. He says, the way he talks, the way he speaks, it was as if he was saying, I went there and I had a T-shirt that says, let's work together, HH. In his thinking, he thinks he can commit a crime. And as long as he's wearing something that says HH, that T-shirt or that garment will shield him, protect him from any type of prosecution or, 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 or police activity, which is ridiculous. Because when you commit a crime, it doesn't matter who you are, the police will come after you. So he had, by that time, there were so many people that had complained about him. When the police picked him up, they first took him to central police. From there, he was taken to Chawama. From Chawama, he was taken to Kalingalinga because in Chawama, he was faced with a whole bunch of people that had, they, they even created a group in Chawama where Abram Angels was collecting money from a group that was created in Chawama and people would, would go to this little shop and they would give money. They would, in, quote unquote, invest their money. 
So when, when, when word got out that this guy was a thief, people in Chawama went and they, they reported him to the police. So they took him from Central, took him to Chawama. Chawama, he faced those charges. From there, he went to Kalingalinga. Now, this is what happened. Any, because he had a lot of money in the bank. Now, where did the money come from? It came from you. You send him the money. He's got tons of money in the account. He's faced with charges, uh, charges of obtaining money by false pretense. He's arrested. He tells the police officers, look, if you let me withdraw this money, I can pay these people and you can let me go. Now, I must tell you, something fishy went on there. Okay, I can't really say much, but I know this. The moment he went to the bank and he withdrew whichever amount it was, I, I, I can't tell you how much it was because it, it, it's not exactly the amount, but it was anywhere between 350,000 kwacha to 450,000 kwacha. That's how much money was in his account. From where? From you. You sent it to him. So he got that money, paid those people. There was a bit of fishy stuff going on. He was let go. He was let go. The complainants dropped the charges after he paid them the money. Very quickly, he went back to the States. Went back to the States. Now, the, if you listen to what he was talking about on his broadcast, everything he was saying, for the most part, was complete lies. You know, there's a part where he says, I've got, I've got evidence on my phone, and I'm going to upload it. Oof. Then he says, those are lies. Then he says, my brother was killed, his brother, meaning his brother, his brother was killed because Abram Angel supported HH. And then he shows pictures of a man laying down in a mortuary, and there's an autopsy being conducted on that man, on a black man. We don't know who that black man is. Just because he says, this is my brother, it doesn't mean that's his brother. And this is the trick these so-called prophets use. They take a tiny bit of truth and they attach it to a big lie. Meaning, they take a video of an, of an, uh, uh, an autopsy being conducted on a, on a body. Some abstract, obscure, some unknown person. He got this, this, this video of a man, autopsy being conducted on a man. And then Abram says, oh, this is my brother. Well, how do you know that? H how would we know that that's your brother? You're just saying it. Just because you say he's your brother, it doesn't mean that he's your brother. And just because you say you supported the UPND, it doesn't mean you supported them. Just because you say your brother was killed because of, of you supporting the UPND, it doesn't mean your brother was actually killed because you supported the UPND. It's all because of what you say. You're just saying it. Lies. And then he says, he says, you don't know how close I am to HH. Lies. These false prophets, they love that gimmick. You don't know how close I am to, oh, if you wake up, well, pr prove it. Show us you sitting down having a conference with the president, not, not a photo op, okay? Not a, not a selfie, not uh, the president is walking by and then you, hey, click, no, no, no. We wanna see you conferring with the head of state. There is no such footage. There's no such evidence. You know why? Because it doesn't exist. HH doesn't know Abram angels from a stone under a rock. HH doesn't know Abram angels from, 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 from a pig on a farm in Solwezi. It's, he just makes it up. And, and listen, guys, whenever he holds up his phones and says, I've got evidence, I'll upload it. Go to his page. He's uploaded nothing based upon what he was saying that he would upload. Nothing. It's all talk. The lion that roars the most frequently never catches anything. Are you hearing that? He's just a, an animal out there in the, in the wilderness. Just, all he does is just roar, yap, and yeah, yeah, complain. The reason he's upset, especially with me, the reason he's angry with me is because we outed him and people took him to task. So his ploy, his desire, his plan to steal your money was destroyed. So right now, he's gone back to America, but he's broke. He is broke. He's, he's poorer than a church mouse. He's broke. He has no money. Now, because now his scheme of getting money from Zambians, Forex trading, forex trading, invest. And he knows that. He can't do it anywhere else because other countries enlightened. But he knows. Muzambia. That was my fertile ground. Why do you think Andrew Ejimadu, this seer zero, why do you think he loves Zambia so much? Because he knows Zambians. Zambians accept anything as long as you put God there. Ah, they accept. Now that ploy has been destroyed. That game has been revealed. He's been outed. So the reason he's angry is because he's broke. His source of income has been cut. No money coming in. And then guys, lastly, let me just say this before I go, because I've spoken enough.
spoken. How long have I spoken? 26 minutes. That's a long time. Whenever a false prophet threatens, you know, because the real him came out, you know, I mean, all that stuff about I'm the man of God. And then he was playing this annoying music. Drove me nuts. You know, all that talk of man of God. When he became animated and he started insulting me, that's the real him. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. That's the real him. That's him. But, but here's what I found disturbing. Andrew has done that. How many times has Andrew insulted me? How many times has Andrew claimed, uh, you know, you, uh, Abram says, I'm going, what am I going to do? Who do you think you're talking to, man? You think you're talking to one of your cult church members? I know in whom I have believed. And I'm persuaded that he's able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. I stand under the pavilion of God. I don't fear you, you false prophet, you vagabond, you, you desperate, you bottom feeder. You think I can fear you because you call yourself a prophet? And then he says, he says, I'm not a prophet to play with. <laughs> you know, it amazes me. It really does. It amazes me how these jokers gas themselves up. You know, which Bible school did you go to that taught you that? You will never go to a legitimate Bible college and they, and they teach you. And once in a while, when you get upset with your congregants, tell them that you're not, you are not to be messed with. Tell them that he, 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 <laughs> this, this, this is the reason I tell you, these are jokers. But what, what I found disturbing, and this is the last thing I'll say, what I found disturbing is that Andrew has done that. Seer Zero has done that many times. Insulted, used, said he'll use witchcraft. He claimed that he put something in Sunday Sinyangwa's stomach. At Uyo, Abram says, <laughs> You idiot. Simpletons. And you think things like that can move us? Us? Are you nuts? That's crazy, man. But, but Andrew has said that before. But here's the difference that I find. You guys, you believe Andrew. You support Andrew. But because Uyo, Abram, we na Zambia. That's the weakness of this country. As long as Munai, as long as Wauku, ah, hey, and yet Andrew insults all the time. We're not moved by these jokers. So my point is, let me uh, encourage you, my, my Zambian brothers and sisters, Uyo Abram Angel is done. Finished. He's got no money. He's broke. Uh, one last thing. And then he, he goes on, you know, sometime ago, he was posting pictures of him holding stacks and stacks of dollars, US dollars. All of that is a, is a gimmick. That's not true. That, that's counterfeit money. That's play money. What, do you not know that you can buy paper money that looks like US dollars, but they're not? He takes them, he, he holds a stack of US dollars, and he shows them to you and says, what I possess, you can possess if you just follow my instructions. But, and because he knows that. So he can show you fake dollars, and there you are sitting, oh, Abram, not quite a dollars, not quite a two hundred thousand dollars. So nani nana, nana, nasha shani, nana nasha invest. So that the amount dollars I quite yeah yeah, nani nana quite. He knows he knows you're greedy, you're lazy, and you're ignorant. Due diligence, guys. All right, thanks for watching. That's enough. Tell them. Kuti jagaban, come and hear what Uncle is saying. That you are Sia zero. Is it true? <laughs> you know you or you maybe. This is the type of foolishness that most Zambians throw themselves in. You know, they'll run to, to Sierra Zero and say, and then they'll come back to me and say, eh, <laughs> it's nonsense. You know, these are the things that you're entertained with. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. He's broke. Oh, he is broke, man. Zero money. He will never show you. McDonald's. I'm a toilets. You know, he, he uses garbage. Uh, you know, sometimes he'll get peace work. In Zambia, we call it peace work. And then that gold spray painted chair of his, he'll sit there and he starts talking to you, Dwanzi followers. You know why he talks to you? Because he knows you're ignorant, you're greedy, and you're lazy. <laughs> All righty. All right. Thanks for watching. I got to go home. Good night. Bye.